Hey friends, it's Sunday. I'm lounging in sweats. Today is a video that you guys are gonna love because you've asked for it. A lot of you guys have asked me in my video comments and also my Instagram about my skincare routine. I did a video like a year and a half ago on my skincare routine, but since then, I've definitely switched up some of the products that I use. Some of them are the same, but some are different. Since all of you guys, not all of you guys, some of you guys have been asking me for an updated skincare video, I'm bringing it, I'm bringing it today. That's what's happening. So I'm gonna run through all the products I use on my face, also my body, because I feel like we tend to neglect just general body skincare, so I'll cover that too. I'm going to talk through my morning routine, my nighttime routine, and also just some products I use and rotate in on a weekly basis, so that's kind of how I'm gonna break up the video. Let's start with AM routine. By the way, those are all the products back there. It's a shit ton, don't judge me. Maybe I have a problem, or maybe I know what I'm doing, I don't know. Either way, this is the reality right here. All the products I'm gonna run through for you guys. I'm gonna get that stuff over here so you guys can actually see what the products look like. So, please hold. <laughs> really quick, before I jump into the actual products that I use and my routine, I want to emphasize that there are two things that are crazy important for your skin and no product is gonna help you if you don't do these two things. One of them is drinking a lot of water. I have a water bottle by my side all day, every single day, I'm constantly drinking water, and that to me is a deal breaker when it comes to skin. No product is gonna make your skin look as hydrated or feel as bright and clear as water. Drink as much water as possible. I forget what the ratio is, I think you're supposed to drink as many ounces as your body weight, am I making that up? Drop me a comment and let me know. You guys probably know better than I do. I just know that I drink water all day, every day. Have a water bottle by my side constantly. The second thing that's insanely important is SPF and staying out of the sun. I know it's hard to stay out of the sun. I don't stay out of the sun as much as I should. I am guilty of not staying out of the sun as well. I live in a very cold place, so when the sun is out in the summer, I'm outside baking in it. But I always, always, always put on SPF, particularly on my face, always SPF 40 plus. On my body, I usually do an SPF 30. So even if I'm sitting out in the sun, I'm protected. And you should do the same because nothing is more damaging to your skin than the sun. Okay, spiel over. Those are the two things that are crazy important on top of obviously your skincare routine. So now with that said, let's dive in to the actual products. I got all my morning stuff over here right now, so let's talk through it. Cleansers. This is the one that I've been using lately. It's the Eminence Mangosteen Daily Resurfacing Cleanser. I have combination skin, probably should have mentioned that earlier, uh, which means that my T-zone and chin area is oily and my cheeks here and my eyes are dry. Keep that in mind as I'm recommending these products because you may or may not find the same success with these as I do because you might have a different skin type. On the topic of cleansers, I feel like cleansers are so, so based on like where your skin is at and also what time of year it is. So I tend to switch them up a lot. It's like one of the products that I don't necessarily have like a one that I'm really in love with that I, you know, use every single time and continue to repurchase. I kind of switch it up, but this has been the cleanser in my rotation. It has antioxidant properties. It's very, um, it's good for my skin type because it's not drying. So it has like kind of this like, uh, it's not foamy, it's more creamy, which is what I like. And it also has lactic acid in it, so it's a little bit uh, exfoliating as well. Love that it's creamy, love that it's exfoliating, and this one really, really goes well with my skin type, and I loved it, and I'm very sad that it's done. It's especially great if you're into clean beauty and you only use clean beauty products. This brand is one that you should definitely test out. After I cleanse, I hit up my serums. Serums, in my opinion, are worth investing in. There's, you know, there are various price ranges when it comes to skincare brands. I truly believe that serums are the products, if you're gonna invest in any skincare product, 
invest in serums. With that said, there are two serums that I use every single day. One of them is a vitamin C serum. The other one is a hyaluronic acid serum. So the vitamin C serum that I use, I have been using for years. I think four years, five years since I was in my late twenties, I've been using this product and I honestly, I tried to get off of it like a few months back and immediately noticed a difference in my skin and jumped back onto it. It is the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic Serum. This shit is magic. It's expensive. It definitely is expensive. I think it's, I want to say it's like 165, which yes, I know before you freak out, let me, let me talk you through this one. It lasts six months. So you're buying it twice a year. Secondly, I buy it on derm store where they run skin sales a few times a year and they run 15% off. I'll link to this product from derm store. So you guys can check it out there. Also, if you're a new derm store shopper, you get 20% off your first purchase. So you can get this discounted and the 15, 20% on a product that's 160 some bucks actually makes a big difference. This stuff is magic. If you listen to anything I tell you today, this product, you need to try it. So what I do is first product on my face after cleansing, I take about five drops and I pat it all over my face on my eyes and also the neck area and I let it soak in. You don't need a lot. So like less is more. I probably even go overkill with five drops. You could probably do four. But that's what I do and it lasts me about six months. So step number one, vitamin C serum. If despite the discounts of 15, 20% off, if it's still out of your price range, there are a ton of other vitamin C serums that work really well for others. Uh, there's a site called Beautypedia that I actually check out just to get reviews on various skincare products before I pull the trigger. I'll link to it in the description of the video because basically what you can do is you can search for specific skincare product categories and look at what their top rated ones are and their rating system is great. It's like experts that are rating the products and they're rating them against like, do they actually do what they're advertised to do? And then they also talk through like packaging and how that influences the effectiveness of all these skincare ingredients, all that good stuff. So beautypedia.com, scope it out in the description of the video. I'll link to it so you guys can check it out. That is kind of one of the sources I always scope out for reviews for new products. Super helpful if you're looking for new products and you're not sure where to even begin. Also, if there are other vitamin C serums that have worked really well for you guys, drop them in the comments and let everyone know so we all learn and can try new stuff together. I mentioned that I use a hyaluronic acid serum. The one that I'm loving is this one also from Eminence. Uh, this is their strawberry rhubarb hyaluronic serum. This stuff is like fucking candy. It smells delicious. It's, it's just awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is the hyaluronic acid serum. I use every single day immediately after the vitamin C serum. Uh, this one is, it's like a little pricier than your standard hyaluronic acid serum, but it's like 40 or 50 bucks. Let me show you what it looks like. It's pink. Like, it makes sense because it's strawberry rhubarb. Look at what it looks like. Can you see this? It's pink. It looks like a shot of sugary candy and that's basically what it smells like. What I do is I put on two small drops and that's all that you need. And I, again, pull it all over my face and bring it down to my neck. Also a very important thing is bring every single product you're putting here onto your neck as well because the neck area is actually an area that you see signs of aging really early and a lot of people neglect it. So don't forget to put all the product, bring it down to your neck. Warning that when you put it on, it does feel a little bit sticky, but I promise you it only lasts for a few seconds and then your skin soaks it in and it doesn't feel sticky anymore. Promise, you may freak out initially, like what am I putting on my face? It's sticky, my makeup isn't gonna sit well. It's not an issue. It, absorbs very quickly. So really love this stuff. Have been using this one for, I want to say like a year, two years now. It's one of my favorites out there. So those are the morning serums that I use. Not too crazy, right? Two serums. I feel like some people might be a little bit more aggressive than me. So the next part of my routine in the morning is moisturizer and SPF. Sometimes you can find one that has both of those things. If you're looking for a combo moisturizer SPF, I really love Josie Moran's Argon 
I think it's like the argan oil moisturizer with SPF 47. I'll definitely link to it in the description of the video because I don't have it here today to show you because I'm testing some other stuff. But that is one of my favorites if you're looking for moisturizer SPF in one. I'm testing out some other products just for fun and see what else is out there. So right now I've been using the Alemis. Alemis? I always screw up the way to say this. I think it's Alemis. It's their Pro Collagen Marine Cream and Ultra Rich. This is great for the winter because it's a super creamy, very luxurious feeling day cream. I really love how it feels on my face. It's like an anti-wrinkle. It's supposed to kind of fill in uh, some of the fine lines. Two things that I wish were a little bit different about this product. One is it has fragrance in it, which I don't like. And to me is normally like a red flag when it comes to moisturizer. But honestly, I love how I just love how it feels on my face and I'm willing to deal with the fragrance piece. The second thing about it is it doesn't have SPF in it, but there is a version of this that does have SPF, which I'll be sure to link to in the description of the video. I just didn't happen to get that one. So what I do is I mix in this Paula's Choice moisturizer that has SPF 50 in it. So I essentially mix these two things together and that's my morning moisturizer. If you have a moisturizer that you love that doesn't have SPF, you can always buy a separate SPF, whether it's the Paula's Choice one. I really love this one, by the way. It feels great on the skin. It doesn't feel or smell like a sunscreen, which is super important. Um, and that's why I think it really blends nicely with the with the Lemus cream. You don't have to not use your moisturizer just because it doesn't have SPF in it, but be sure to add it to it separately. And what I do is I just kind of put them on my palm, squeeze them in there, mix them up, and spread it around my face. These are the two products in my rotation right now for daily AM moisturizer. SPF, moisturizer, love how these two work together for me right now. Next up is eye cream. So even though I take the daily, the Lemus and the sunscreen, and put it all over my face, including my eyes. I like to put a separate eye cream on top. And the one that I am loving, loving, loving right now, have also been using it for about a year now. And I've tried other stuff and I always find myself coming back to this one. The old Heinrichsen Banana Bright Eye Cream. This stuff is so nice under makeup. It goes on so smoothly. It doesn't cause the makeup to like pill or a smear or anything like that. It's like the perfect eye cream for makeup. It actually is yellow because it has banana powder in it, which helps with brightening. If you have like dark circles under your eyes, it helps brighten that. And it also has vitamin C and collagen boosting properties in it. So it's basically like an eye cream, a collagen booster, vitamin C, all in one, and it helps with brightening dark circles. I mean, it's everything you would want in an eye cream. This I just use in the morning. I have a separate one that I use at night, but really love it. Also very reasonably priced. I wanna say it's like in the $40 range, which is, in my opinion, pretty reasonable for an eye cream. Lasts forever, you don't need that much. I've had this one now for like probably over a month, and you can see I haven't even really made a dent in it. You just need very little amount. It spreads really nicely and it actually smells quite lovely as well, which is a bonus. Moving on to the last step of my morning skincare routine. I know it feels like this probably takes me like forever to do, but truthfully, I've got it down to a science. It takes me three minutes to do my skincare in the morning. So don't be overwhelmed like, oh my God, this is like a whole 20 minute ordeal. It's not, I promise. On top of all that stuff, so I have my moisturizer, my eye cream on, all my serums obviously. The last step of my routine is the Glossier Future Dew. This shit is amazing. I know I've talked about it before, probably on my Instagram. I'm obsessed. This product gives you like that last layer of extra glow and kind of um, just gives your skin like a nice sheen to it. I feel like there's a little bit of a shimmer. It's essentially like an oil slash serum in one, but I find it to be a great last step in my morning skincare routine just to get that extra glow, that extra dewiness. This says to apply two pumps. Honestly, I just do like one and maybe a quarter and that does it for me. And again, I bring it all around my face. I bring it down to my neck, so face, through my neck, 
Really, really love this product. Also super reasonable. I want to say it's in the $30 range. If you've never purchased from Glossier, you can get 10% off your purchase. I'll be sure to link to all the deets in the description of the video, but highly, highly recommend this Glossier skincare product. I don't love all of their skincare. This is by far the best one I think that they have. So that is my morning skincare routine. Let's jump into PM routine. So let me get the products back there, bring them up here, and we'll talk through them. So nighttime skincare routine. I'm a night shower, so I do some of my routine in the shower as I'm showering before bed. First thing I do is I cleanse my face to get all the makeup and the dirt from the day off. I use the double cleansing method, so I start my cleansing routine with the Dermalogica pre-cleanse. I really love this product. You can maybe argue that it's a bit overpriced for what it is, but I truly love it. and. I just splurge on it because I really like it. You could probably get a similar effect here. It's like an oil-based cleanser. You can probably get a similar effect just by washing your face with like a jojoba oil um, or a cheaper alternative. Really love this product. I've been using it for like two years now. I do a pump of this and before I wet my face, so my face is dry at this point, pump of that and I start massaging it onto my face to break down all the makeup. And then once I feel like it's broken down, I add a little bit of water in my hand and then it kind of turns into more of like a foamy cleanser. So I kind of cleanse a little bit, wash it off, and then I proceed with just my normal daily cleanser, which in this, this case is that Eminence one that I shared earlier that I use in the morning. I'll cleanse with the pre-cleanse and then I'll cleanse with my normal daily cleanser afterwards and then my face just feels super super clean and i know i've gotten all the makeup off and the dirt uh before i go to bed so that's my cleansing routine after i do that another thing that i do in the shower for exfoliating is this the dermalogica uh daily it's a dermalogica daily microfoliant this product is another one i've been using for two to three years now it's awesome it's a powder, so what you do is you wet your face, so you're in the shower, so it makes it super easy to do it when you're in the shower. So what you do is you put a little bit of this powder on your hand and it just comes out like a dry powder and you don't even need to put water on it if your face is wet. I just kind of take it, do this, and do circular motions on my face and then the powder slowly dissolves. The great thing about this stuff is that it's gentle enough to use on your face every single day. It doesn't have those like micro beads that are bad for the environment. It's not too harsh on your face where you're gonna dry it out or break capillaries or anything like that. It's very, very mild and it feels great and I honestly think it does work in just kind of stripping some of that dead skin off and my face just feels very soft and bright after using this stuff. So. Love this product. This isn't, this is pretty reasonably priced. I wanna say it's like 50 bucks. Also lasts for months, like four or five months. So worth the investment, highly recommend this stuff. So that's kind of what I do in the shower. So cleanse, exfoliate, once I jump out of the shower, that's when I start putting on my creams and eye creams and all that good stuff. So with the creams, I kind of switch it up. So. I have a retinol that I use at night, and then I also have a night cream on the nights that I'm not using retinol. I do retinol every other day, so ends up being like three times a week, four times a week maybe, and then on the other days, I just use a normal night cream. I'm loving the Charlotte Tilbury uh, night cream. This is the Magic Night Cream. I really love how like waxy this night cream is, so it feels, Super greasy when you put it on, your face is like shiny, but I love that, especially this time of year, especially when you live in a cold place and the wind is just beating up your skin. This night cream is like super luxurious, super creamy, and gives, you know, just, I just feel like my skin is like sucking in all the, the moisture when using this product, so really love this. I like a similar effect for my eye cream at night too, so something like kind of greasy and balmy. I've been using the Indie Lee Eye Balm, it's the Calendula Eye Balm. 
I have a feeling this might be discontinued, but I'm not 100% sure. You see what this stuff looks like? It looks like a lip balm, but it's for your eyes. And it kind of looks like a lip balm when you put it on your eyes too. So it's got a kind of greasy feel. It's all natural. So again, if you're into clean beauty, this brand is great. You can also use this on your lips. Uh, but I actually have another product that I prefer for the lips, which I'll share in a bit. So this is my eye cream. I put it on all over. So under eye area, eyelid area, it's great. I think it really kind of hydrates. I have not had issues with my eyes being dry at all. And it's like February. So I've basically been through the majority of winter here and haven't had issues. I used to get like dry patches under my eyes before and this stuff has really helped minimize that. So love this product. On the days that I'm not using the Charlotte Tilbury night cream, I'm using a retinol. I used to use the Skin Medica 1% retinol and I loved it. So highly recommend that product. Right now I'm using one. My mom goes to Mexico every so often and she brought back just like one of their um, one of their retinols that are like prescription that she picked up for me. So I've been using that but I just finished up my Skin Medica one that I love. So once I'm done with this, I'm definitely gonna rebuy that one. Something to keep in mind with retinol is don't take like the percentage or the, the strength of the one that I use and just run with it. It's so much based on your skin, how, how it can tolerate it, if it's sensitive or not. So if you've never used retinol before, I recommend starting low and then building up the uh, like potency over time. Don't just kind of throw a 1% on your skin if you've never done it because you are gonna have a reaction and it's not gonna be pleasant. So I recommend just kind of building your way up strength-wise and also building up over time in terms of how frequently you're using it. So start using it like once or twice a week and then you can use it every other day eventually and then if you really wanna to get to the point where you're using every day, you can, it just takes time to get there. So that's kind of my retinol process in terms of like overall face. I also have a product that I love for the eye area. It's the Dermalogica um, Age Reversal Eye Complex. With this, I don't put it on my eyelid, but I kind of spread it across like the orbital bone here. So like upper eyelid and then around the eye area to hit those areas that are more prone for fine lines and wrinkles. So this alongside this happens every other night. And what I do is on top of the retinol to keep my face moisturized because retinol can be drying, I use a face oil on top. I have tried so many face oils. This one is my all time favorite. Go to Face Hero. You may or may not have heard of it. It's a smaller brand. It doesn't feel greasy. I feel like my skin absorbs it. I love the texture of it and it smells awesome. It's just honestly like one of my favorite face oils out there right now, so highly recommend this. So to keep my face moisturized after the retinol, I use this all over eyes and face just to kind of lock in some of the moisture uh, so my face doesn't dry out after you know using the retinol. So that's kind of the nighttime routine. I switch between the Charlotte Tilbury night cream the retinols plus the oil. So that's kind of the weekly rotation. It's like every other night, Charlotte Tilbury and then the retinol. I don't use retinol every day. I don't feel like I need to. So that's kind of my process, but depending on where you're at with your, you know, your retinol journey, um, you know, that may look different for you. That's kind of the nighttime routine for my face. I also want to touch on just like skincare for the entire body. So in the winter, my skin gets nasty, nasty, crusty and disgusting. So I have to use a lotion. Um, I use, I normally am like pretty bad about using body lotion, not gonna lie. But I recently bought just the CeraVe moisturizing cream from the drugstore and just having it out and having this, just like the easy applicator, it, it's gotten me to use it every day after showering and I love it. It doesn't feel too greasy. It doesn't have a strong smell, which is great. And it's keeping my skin super hydrated. So I'm loving this product right now. It's super cheap. It's a drugstore brand, obviously, but awesome product. Highly recommend if you just need like an all over moisturizing cream for the body. I mentioned also lips. So lips get super dry in the winter and I like to have on a balm before going to bed. So I wake up with 
soft moisturized lips i'm really loving this lip treatment by image skincare it's excellent very it just feels like you know like a normal lip balm but i feel like it hydrates so much better than the normal lip balm and you don't need a lot to put on it's like less is more this is actually the first product i've tried by this brand and i'm pretty impressed so i'm curious to kind of see what else they have and test out some of their other products that's morning night god i feel like i've been talking for like 30 minutes and i want to just touch on a couple things that i rotate in weekly so like masks different tools that i use so i'll talk about that really quick now and hopefully you're not bored out of your mind and like oh my god this girl's fucking crazy and the amount of products she uses is like insane it is but maybe just like pick and choose the ones that work for you and don't judge me so a couple things i rotate in my routine weekly or twice a week one of which is this paula's choice it's like a liquid exfoliant it almost feels like a toner like it's very you can hear it it's very liquidy and what i do is i put it on just like a little pad this is just great to have an extra level of exfoliation i think a chemical exfoliation is the best kind of exfoliation versus like scrubbing your face with an aggressive cleanser or exfoliator I probably end up doing it about twice a week and this is a this is something that i do at nighttime uh, before I put on my moisturizer. I don't do it on the nights that I'm doing retinol So don't do that. You don't want to exfoliate with the retinol and I put it on with these awesome little pads from Apto skincare. So this is another kind of Organic uh, clean beauty company they have these this is so cool. They have these little cotton pads That you can rewash so it comes in this nice little wooden container that actually looks really cute in my bathroom just with them being out and it comes with a ton of these and i'll show you guys it also has a little mesh bag here on the bottom so that when you wash them you could just throw them in the bag and throw them in your washer and reuse them so what i do is i just kind of spill some of this on here and i go in circular motions and just get it across all of my face just these two guys together in terms of masking i don't mask as often as i should one of the masks that i do use regularly is this ultra repair oatmeal mask again it's great for winter because it's super hydrating it just feels like you're putting truly like you're putting oatmeal on your face it's kind of got like some of the grains in it and I, I just find my face to feel like super hydrated and soft after using this. And it's very easy to put on. It's not a pain to rinse off. Apply it on your face, wait 10 minutes, rinse it off. You can use it more than once a week. I just use it once a week. But I really love this product. This brand actually has really good stuff. It's the um, First Aid Beauty brand. I really dig their product. This is one of my favorites of theirs. Oh, okay. I feel like I've been talking forever. This video is probably gonna be like 40 minutes long. So apologies. But hopefully it was helpful and if you guys have any questions on any of the products i talked about or more details on my routine any of that stuff drop me a comment let me know if you also have products that you really love and you want me to try i'd love to try them i love trying new things and rotating different products in my routine definitely let me know in the comments if there's like products that you really think i should try i'm open to it i'm always open to trying new stuff and finding the best of the best like this video if you like it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and i'll chat with you guys in my next video bye